Hello YouTube, this is Fusilier 352 coming at you. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the extra impression you can do as a German reenactor. So you've gotten your uniform all together and your equipment, which is good. There's some other things you can do to add to your impression. And even if nobody else sees it, your comrades might see it if the public doesn't see it. Even if they don't see it, um, you know you've got it and it just will add a lot more to your impression and the feel of the whole reenactment that you're in. So <clears throat> we'll start first with the blanket. You can see this is, a, this is a, an Italian blanket and this was used a lot by the Germans in World War II. And the good news is these are still available if you search the internet enough. These are uh, the real deal Italian surplus. It's real wool. It's not a wool blend. So in cold climates, it's extremely warm. Now, <clears throat> if it's very cold and you have to sleep in a sleeping bag, this you can uh, put this over the sleeping bag, and that will certainly hide it from the public or from your friends that you are sleeping in a sleeping bag. Uh, <clears throat> next, we've got uh, what I use is a ration bag. <clears throat> it's just a cheap cotton drawstring bag, and I just had a uh, had it stamped here with the uh, with the rice holder. I put the rations in there. I'm not sure of the exact size of a ration bag uh, because I have only had a picture of it and no dimensions. So I assume this is probably fairly correct since here's a can of meat and the ration bags didn't have to be extremely big. A can of meat and some bread was what the soldiers got for a half iron ration. So we'll move on to a few rations that uh, I've made and I like to take on events. Of course, the, the peel-up uh, lid on the soup can is not authentic, but it's hard to find soup without that anymore. But uh, get yourself some cans of soup at the store and make your own labels for it. Or also cans of meat, uh, which we have uh, chicken, chicken meat there, and here is uh, some kind of pork. It's either uh, ham or it's smoked ham or some variation of ham. And occasionally you can find uh, beef also. Then here's some chocolate bars. That, uh, some chocolate bars I picked up at the store and then had, a, had labels made on my printer for it. Uh, make period matches. These labels are available online. Just get yourself some cheap matches at the dollar store print the labels out and glue them on, especially if you're bored at home like me with the COVID-19. Uh, eat with period correct utensils. Here I have an officer's set. This is post-war. And I have an enlisted man, fork and spoon. Now these are still available also if you search the web. These are fairly common. Uh, right now Sportsman Guides has these in both the German and Austrian versions. Uh, just a plain flask, whether you drink at events or not, uh, I usually just put water in mine, so if I'm in front of the public I have something to drink out of. It's nice to have a beer stein to drink out of, even if you're not drinking uh, real beer or any alcoholic beverages. Uh, a fairly period correct coffee cup. That's just a standard enamel. Also just a plain white porcelain is also acceptable. Uh, get yourself some period correct sunglasses from War's End Shop or Kriegs, Kriegsendeshop.com. They, uh, they're listed under both names. They sell these reproduction. These are uh, faithful to the originals. Uh, I always carry with me a pocket knife, a, a black cat knife, or a Mercator knife. These are still made. This is post-war, but these are still made the same way they used to, and it's a good blade. It's a good carbon steel blade that will hold an edge. Uh, get yourself a uh, 
Dog tag. Also, most soldiers should be without one. Now for some of my hygiene items, I try and use a period correct razor. This is a for a double sided razor. Here's the blades. Uh, one of the reenactor ladies, uh, who is a custom soap maker, made me this uh, shaving soap to shave with, so I don't have to pull out something that's not period correct. Here's a uh, period correct toothbrush. It's period correct comb. And if there's no mirror available, I bring this French mirror here that I got online somewhere. This is, again, this is post-war. And what I do is I, to keep it from getting <clears throat> scratched up, I put it in this cheap cotton bag with a drawstring. And you can find these online, too, uh, and then stamp them. I... I use tooth powder to brush with. You can either put in uh, store-bought tooth powder or what I like to use is just baking soda. And I found these lids online and found some kind of a tin. I don't remember where I got the tin from, but I keep it in the tin. I glued this, this label on it. Whether you're a musician or not, uh, these are nice to put out on display, the German uh, uh, German uh, leader books, uh, volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the popular songs of the time, a lot of march songs and other sentimental songs. Of course, you shouldn't be caught without your wallet and uh, some of your things to go in it, some pocket litter. Uh, this is occupation currency and ration, ration stamps. And if you're lucky enough, you might have uh, some females in your family that will indulge you to wear your uniform and take snapshots. I recently did a review about uh, a book that deals with this subject matter that the Germans took several thousand photos of their significant other wearing their uniforms. That apparently was some type of a hobby, and they carried those with them. But if you got somebody to indulge you and your family that will do that, that's always nice to put in your wallet as well. And of course you have to have your uh, soldier's book. And if you get lucky enough, you might find somebody that can fill it out for you. Somebody may never see this, but you'll see it. So it's important to have that to add to your impression. Uh, it's always good to have uh, a wound bandage with you. Uh, I received this from... Oh, um, it was so many years ago. I think it was uh, Lancer Outfitters. But it didn't have a real bandage in it, so I did put in a uh, surplus. I think it's a Swiss bandage I put in here, so it could actually be used if need be. Also, this this here is a uh, roll bandage that is also Swiss surplus, I believe. Uh, try and get yourself a period correct compass if you think you need it or just for display. And, of course, the uh, correct flashlight is always helpful. Uh, here is a period correct bar of soap. I downloaded this label online. This is a, a French soap of the day. And I just took a uh, standard bar of soap. Actually, this was, I think this was, again, a custom-made soap by uh, one of the reenactor uh, ladies and just put this just put this label over it uh, for after hours you know you might want to get out of the uniform be more comfortable here's uh, an example of a sports shirt this is comfortable to wear in the after action uh, hours also uh, these are post-war blankets or not blankets sheet set and this is uh, handy if you're like me, you sleep on a mattress or some type of a pad and you can put that air mattress or your padding inside of here and it will hide it and uh, adds to the impression that it doesn't let the public see it and it's uh, a lot more comfortable sleeping on this than just on a, an air mattress with, with no sheets. And finally uh, we come to 
uh, something that's important if you're like me and you need glasses then you should get a set of period correct frames these are reproductions from Hessian antiques I believe comes with this comes this this period correct case and I just went to my eye doctor and had my prescription put into here these are bifocals I had him do it in instead of the transition lenses you can see it's a traditional bifocal so if you wear glasses uh, and you're reenacting you should make the investment in this because nothing looks worse than a reenactor with modern glasses running around at events well that's what I have for now I will do another video on the rations alone and explain to you where I got the ideas from I did a review on Jim Poole's uh, ration book so I will go into more detail about the rations and how I make them in a later video so leave comments if you like and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down your choice thanks very much for watching